I thought we'd give this image a bit of a page curl effect, you know, the sort of thing that looks as if you're sort of flipping through the pages of a magazine or book. Right, to make a start, we're going to come to the Layers panel, we're going to duplicate the background layer. So using Command or Control J, that's Command J, Control J, you can duplicate the background layer. The next thing I want to do with this is I want to put a new empty layer between layer 1 and the background layer here. Now if we drop down and we click on the create a new layer icon, this is going to put a new layer directly on top of layer 1. But if you hold down command or control, so hold down command or control, now click on the create a new layer icon, it puts it underneath layer 1. So that's the right position. If I just switch this off so we can see what we're going to do, because coming across to the toolbox, just make sure you've got the default colors, black being the foreground, white being the background. Press D on the keyboard, so press the letter D on the keyboard if you've got any other colors, and that will restore it. We're going to fill layer 2 with white, which is the background color. Now you could go to the edit menu, you could drop down to fill, and you could select white, or there's a simple shortcut, and that simple shortcut is control backspace, that's control backspace, it is command delete, command delete will fill it with white. Right, let's come back to layer 1, let's click on it, make sure we're working on this layer. We're going to come across, I'm going to pick up the rectangular marquee tool, that's the top one, and if I come over, I'm just going to pop that in out of the way, so it gives a little bit more space, clicking down, making a selection in the top corner, that roughly square, once you've done this, you can always come, if you want to readjust it, go to the Select menu, drop down to Transform Selection. That has put the Transform tool around this selection. And if you bring your cursor, so it's in the bottom corner here, you've got the double arrow, you can just simply adjust it. And basically what I tend to look for is just make sure these sort of almost look as if they come through the centre part of the image. Bring your cursor inside, double clicking is going to apply the Transform tool. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come across, we're going to pick up the gradient tool. Clicking on the gradient tool, we've already reset our colors there to black and white. So we're going to come up, we're going to take a look, make sure you've got the linear gradient, that's the first little icon pressed here. Then coming over and making sure you have got foreground through to background. If you've got foreground to transparent, which is this one here, just click on this icon and you can see the way these have changed down the bottom. So this is now the foreground to background. We're going to click OK to that. Bring in the gradient tool down to the bottom corner, clicking on the bottom corner, lifting it up, coming through to this position here, releasing it there and through it goes. Looking pretty good so far. Using Command D or Control D to deselect. We're going to come over, we're going to come to our Layers panel, and I'm just going to come to the Edit menu. You can drop down, you might want to select Command or Control T for the Free Transform tool, or you can go to Transform, dropping down to Warp. Now with Warp, I'm going to come to the top corner. If you click on the top corner, I'm going to start to fold this over. As you begin to fold it over, coming across like this, you can see there it is there. There's the, the way the page curl's coming over. Just make sure you get rid of the traces of black you've got underneath here. So I'm going to bring that over and just place it into that area. You can see the way you can move it around like this. That would be pretty good like that. Right, you can also come, you can click on these little sort of lines here and you can move it up so you can give your page just a little bit more. Bringing it out on the side there using the, uh, the handle this time. That looks pretty good like that. Once you're happy, press Enter or Return to apply. OK, we're going to come back up now. We're going to come to the Layers panel. I'm going to come to the thumbnail itself on Layer 1. I'm going to double click on this. And this is a shortcut to get to the Layer Styles. You could, of course, go to the Effects icon. And if you click on the Drop Shadow, that gives you this effect. You'll notice my cursor has now changed to the Move tool. If I click down and move it out, there's the Drop Shadow for our page. If I just move this in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it so it comes down, so it's just a little bit at the top like that, coming down, most of the shadow being down on the bottom part. Just going to fold it in a little bit, coming to the size slider, softening it off using the, the size like that. And if I come up to the opacity as well, just dropping the opacity down a touch or two, and just bringing that in a little bit more, that would be pretty good like that. We're going to click OK. Right, let's take a look. That's what we've done so far. So there's our page curl effect now coming through. Next thing we're going to do with this is make sure we're still working on layer 1. 
I'm going to come across, I'm going to pick up the wand tool. Let's zoom in using command or control spacebar to this area here. I've got the wand tool and I've got the add to selection. I'm going to click down, making a selection on this, bring in with the add to selection, just coming up and taking up that top part there. There it is, We've made a selection around our page curl. Using Command J or Control J again, we're going to copy our page curl there, complete with its drop shadow to its own layer. So there it is. Right, let's come and take a look at this. What we're going to do is, because we've already copied the drop shadow, I can double click on this. That opens up the layer styles. There it is. And we're going to uncheck the Use Global Lighting. Make sure you uncheck that. This one now, if we bring our move tool out, I can come down and I can move this and it looks like there are plane flying over. We can bring this and I'm going to place it so it comes underneath the page curl just to give that little bit of a shadow as that comes through like this. I don't want to take it too far because you can bring it out at the back of the other one. So just bringing it down, placing it in position like that just gives a little bit. You see the way that preview is now working, just gives that bit of a shadow underneath the page itself click OK to that. And there it is. There's, there's the page curl effect. Something else you might like to try is if we just bring in another picture. Here is another picture. If I just click on this, if I lift it up, bring it across onto this tab, we're going to drop it in. You can see the way it's fallen in on top there. Just dropping it through the layer stacks, we come above the white layer. The white layer we use very much to allow us to see the, uh, the amount of drop shadow. Just going to move that into position, something like that there would be pretty good. You can always come as well if you go to filter, blur, if you drop down to Gaussian blur and if you can just blur it off very very slightly something like that would be pretty good. Click OK to it and there it is. There's the page girl effect. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.